Hey guys, it's Ornlu, and this is a video that's long overdue. As somebody who is uh, somewhat known in the community for uh, knowing all the tech trees and stuff like that, I've never done a video where I actually go through and uh, show you guys which civs in the game actually have the best and the worst tech trees. If you're going to play, count the X's who has the most, who has the fewest. So that's what this video is going to be about. I am going to uh, give you guys the top three broadest tech trees sieves in the game and the bottom three least, like, smallest tech trees, there we go, in the game. So uh, just to establish a quick, I guess, like ground rules before I get into this, um, essentially playing count the X's with the exception of well, Aztecs are a bad example. Uh, let's go to Vermes, sure. Uh, I'm not going to count the Eagle line against a civilization because they're kind of pseudo-unique units and none of the civilizations that you would even consider for best tech tree have Eagle Warriors. And same goes for Battle Elephants and Step Lancers. These three sets of units are kind of pseudo-unique units and I don't really think it's fair to count them against a civilization, especially since none of the civilizations in question are... Uh, in the top tech trees. And another example would be... Oh, uh, let's see. Celts here, for instance. Uh, uh, they miss squires, and they miss two-man saw. However, because of their civilization bonus, infantry move 15% faster, it's literally a better version of squires that you get from the very beginning of the game and don't have to pay for. So it's not really fair, in my opinion, to count squires against uh, Celts. Similar In a similar fashion, Lumberjacks work 15% faster. Um, Two-man saw, you can only get it in the Imperial Age, you have to pay resources for it, and it makes villagers only chop 10% faster. So they could literally get a better version of it from the beginning of the game. It doesn't make sense to include two-man saw um, as missing from their tech tree, so to say. So if a civilization bonus essentially... Uh, replaces a tech, I won't count it against the civilization. And with that said, and not all that squared away, let's go through our top three broadest tech tree civs first. All right, who's going to be? Who's going to be? So runner-ups, I guess, um, almost there were like Berbers, Chinese, uh, Italians, uh, Portuguese were up there as well. Uh, kind of stuff you'd expect Malians as well. But our actual number three is going to be the Saracens. A civ that you definitely would know to have a broad tech tree. So let's play count the X's, shall we? Uh, Halberdier is one. Missing Halberdier, obviously. Pretty big for the civ. Uh, they miss Cavalier and Paladin. Those can be two and three. Obviously the only civ in the game to uh, have knights but no Cavalier. Heavy Scorpion is four. Fast Fire Ship and Shipwright are 5 and 6. Architecture 7, BBT 8, Heated Shot 9. Uh, Bombard Tower is already, like I already counted Bombard Tower over here. So, like this is, I did, don't double count it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Sappers is 10. Stone Shaft Mining is 11. Uh, crop rotation is 12, and here we come to guilds. So it is technically 13 techs that the Saracens miss, again, controlling for the pseudo-unique units, as I call them. Um, but I don't think it's fair to count guilds against Saracens because they literally have a better version of the guilds, like a way better version of guilds um, from the beginning of the game that they don't have to pay for. So guilds reduces the commodity trading fee to 15%. Uh, by default, it's 20%. Saracens get it at only 5% from the very beginning of the game. Obviously, the, the market bonus is pretty big. So I am not... I don't think it's fair to count guilds against Saracens. I think that's pretty straightforward. So minus 12 for Saracens, with uh, only missing 12 units and technologies in the game. Pretty sick. Uh, yeah. So who's number two? Will it be Byzantines, or will it be Spanish? Eh? Eh? It's Spanish. Spanish are number two. So, again, let's play Count the X's. 
Uh, missing crossbow and herbalist. Obviously one of two civilizations to miss uh, crossbowmen. So there's one, two. Um, camels, uh, three and four. Unlike battle elephants and step lancers and eagle warriors, I do think that camels... It, it's It's... A little too common to be considered like a pseudo unique unit, right? Anyway, of course, I lost count. I, I did count this beforehand. Um, yeah. Crossbowman, Arbalest 1, 2, Parthian Tactics 3. I don't even remember if I counted that. Um, and then Heavy Camel and Camel uh, 4 and 5. Yeah. There we go. I do have the correct numbers uh, on the side here that I counted very carefully beforehand. Uh, just so that in my rambling and make a mistake, I uh, don't... I, I, I know if I got it right or not. Anyway, um, Siege Onager is 6, Heavy Scorpion is 7. Spanish Siege, eh, kind of middling. Siege Engineer is 8, Heated Shot 9. Treadmill Crane is again technically 10. But I'm not going to count Treadmill Crane against Spanish because they have builders work 30% faster. Treadmill Crane makes uh, villagers build 20% faster. And Saracen, or not Saracen, Spanish, get it better from the very beginning of the game and don't have to pay for it. It doesn't make any sense to count Treadmill Crane against them. And then uh, 10, 11 for Gold Shaft and Crop Rotation. Uh, so yeah, Saris, or Spanish, they only miss 11 techs. 12 if you count Treadmill Crane, which I don't think is fair. And again, controlling for uh, Eagle Warriors, Elephants, and Step Lancers. Spanish, obviously, other than critically missing crossbowmen, are definitely known for having one of the broadest tech trees in the book. Uh, they are also notably the only civilization that has full upgrades on all the trash units. Full upgrades on skirmishers, full upgrades on halberdiers, and full upgrades on hussars. So Spanish, obviously very, very versatile in what they can do. However, number one is, I think, somewhat unsurprisingly, going to be going to the Byzantines. So yeah, here they are in their very, 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 very broad tech tree glory. So Byzantines, missing only uh, Miss Parthian tactics, that's one. Bloodlines is two, although that one's a little questionable whether they have it or not. <laughs> uh, SO and Heavy Scorpion are three and four. Uh, Blast Furnace is five. Uh, Siege Engineer six. Heated Shot seven. Treadmill Crane eight. Again, Masonry and Architecture, you could say that they're nine and ten, but Byzantines, they get the uh, HP bonus from for free from the start of the game. Yes, there are situations in which it's better to have masonry and architecture rather than the Byzantine HP bonus, but those are so situational and like given the choice, I take the Byzantine bonus like going into a game like any day. So I don't think it's fair to count masonry and architecture against Byzantines. Uh anyway, Sappers is 9. Herbal medicine is 10. And that's it. Byzantines literally only miss 10 units in text in the entire game, discounting these guys, Masonry and Architecture, and, uh, you know, Battle Ellie, Step Lancers, and Eagle Warriors. So yeah, there you go, guys. Byzantines have the best tech tree in all of Age of Empires 2. Uh, they're a very popular civ among beginners and uh, me as well. Also, a lot of people like Byzantines just because they can do so much... Uh, they always have answers with their cheap trash units. You know, Spanish had the full upgrade trash, but Byzantines have the cheaper trash and also camels. Um, the cheap imp is nice. They're a great water sieve. The Byzantines are a sieve that you can throw on any map in any situation, and they're going to be fine. You know they have options. You know that they can bring something to the table that's going to be at least pretty good, right? Uh, of course, the flip side of that is Byzantines aren't really super dominant on any one uh, map type or game mode. So it's kind of the uh, the jack of all trades, master of none sieve. Uh, kind of, I think, what a lot of people would expect going into it. But indeed, Byzantines are going to be numero uno. So with the best tech tree civilizations out of the way, now it's time to go down to the, uh, let's say, highly specialized tech tree civilizations. 
Uh, so yeah, the civs that have the worst tech trees in the game. And here I'm going to do another caveat, uh, because it is... Actually, we're right on them. Aztecs. Aztecs actually nominally have the worst tech tree in the game because they miss literally the entire stable, as well as all gunpowder units. Um, same goes for Mayans and Incas. I don't think it's... Like, the American civs, they're just their own... They're their own can of worms. And I, I don't... Like, for, for good or ill, I don't think it's fair to compare them to the rest of the civs in the game because I don't think it gives you a very useful answer um, because Aztecs have plenty of options as do uh, Incas. Mayans are a little more, uh, I guess, pigeonholed into what they can do, but they're still, you know, they still have options. Um, but I guess if you are interested, yes, Aztecs do nominally have the worst tech tree in the game, then Mayans and then uh, Incas. So those three civs out of the way. So we're only going to be going out of, uh, what, 32 civs. So Civ number 30, who has the third worst tech tree in the game? There are a lot of uh, a lot of doozies here. Bulgarians aren't great. Celts aren't great. Humans aren't great. Goths, Huns, obviously. Uh, Magyars aren't amazing. Mongols certainly don't have anything to write home about. Uh... Vikings as well. You guys get the idea. So, without more stalling for no reason, number three, or I guess number 30, is going to be the Goths. Obviously a Civ that is uh, known for not having a, uh, a very good tech tree. Uh, they're very, very specialized in the whole infantry thing. Um, but with that said, they are not quite the worst. They actually do have some options here and there. So this is going to be a lot more counting. So uh, to avoid me losing my place even more likely, I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat that I am not holding arson, uh, supplies, or uh, plate mail armor against goths. Um, like, I'm not going to count them against goths as missing. Supplies, they get the cheaper infantry anyway. Arson, they get the extra attack anyway. Uh, plate mail, I guess, is a little bit more subjective, but because you have perfusion and the faster working barracks and, you know, huskarls you can make at the barracks and all that stuff, I I don't know. I don't... I wouldn't count them as missing anything as far as infantry goes. Like, they are the infantry sieve, right? So, yeah, not gonna count plate mail against them. If you disagree with me, I don't know, sue me. Anyway, without further ado, let's play count the X. Count the selected X's as far as what Ornlu thinks uh, should count and what should not. Arbalust 1, Parthian Tactics 2, Thumbring 3, uh, Goth Archery Range, definitely not that great. Uh, Paladin 4, Camels uh, 5 and 6. Uh, Siege Ram, Siege Onager 7 and 8. Plate Barding Armor, 9. Cannon Galleon and Dry Dock, 10 and 11. University, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that is Bombard Tower, Siege Engineers, Keep, Arrow Slits, Treadmill Crane, Guard Tower, and Fortified Wall. So, yeah, not a very good university, but actually not the worst. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, also, we do actually have to count here 19 and 20, missing stone gates and stone walls. Um, obviously, one of two civs in the game that don't have access to those, so can't forget those. That's 19 and 20. Hoarding's 21. Uh, missing monastery techs uh, is 22, 23, 24, 25, and that is going to be uh, redemption, atonement, heresy, and block printing. And then finally, we just have gold shaft mining, which is minus uh, 26. So yes, Goths, with all of the caveats I presented to you guys, minus 26. Compare that to Byzantine's minus 10. And that is the uh, the breadth of difference between the sieves that have good tech trees and sieves that have, again, more specialized tech trees. It's not that Byzantine, Spanish, Saracens, all those guys are the best sieves and these are the worst, obviously. Um, bonuses are pretty important too, right? And although I don't personally think Goths are all that amazing, 
Uh, they're certainly not bad, and they're certainly not something that you should feel ashamed of playing. But uh, we can always dig deeper uh, until we can't. But for the time being, we have Cumans! One of the new civs with uh, the last cons. And uh, they are going to be 31 of 32 civs. Again, not counting the American civs because I don't think that's a very good answer. And I'm again, I'm just going to tell you straight away um, so I don't get lost. Uh, I'm not counting husbandry against humans just because, you know, you have the faster cavalry speed per age. It's 5% faster in feudal age. 10% faster in Castle Age, which amounts to free Husbandry, and then 5% faster still in Imperial Age. Obviously, it makes no sense to hold Husbandry against the Civ. That said... Yep, yep. Here we go. Time to count the axes. Arbalest Hand Cannon, 1, 2. Supplies, can't forget that, 3. Uh, Heavy Camel Rider, 4. Heavy Scorpion, 5. Bombard Cannon, 6. Bracer, ooh, that's a big one. Uh, that's so big for the Civ. Uh, and that's going to be 7. Uh, Doc, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, missing uh, Oath Cannon Galleons. Heavy Demo, Dry Dock, and Shipwright. Not a great Doc. Oh, this university is, I think, the exact same as Goths. So, again, their university will have minus 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're already at minus 20. Um, and that is, of course, missing architecture, BBT, siege engineers, keep, arrow slits, treadmill crane, guard tower, and fortified wall. And of course, minus 21 and 22 is going to be gates and stone walls. Again, the other of the two civs that don't get any stone uh, gates at all, or stone walls and gates. Monastery text missing uh, 23, 24, 25, 26. Uh, they did get Redemption removed a few patches ago. Uh, other than that, I mean, their monks aren't, like, a disaster, but they're nothing to write home about. And then, just for good measure, is 27 with Stone Shaft Mining. So, yes, in my magical world of uh, what I determine is important, uh, Cumans are minus 27, which is one more, one more missing tech compared to Goths, who I have at minus 26. So, yeah, humans just very barely having a, uh, a worse tech tree than Goths, in my opinion. But who's the winner? Who has the worst tech tree in the game? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Burmese? No, it's not Burmese. It's Huns. <laughs> oh man, and, and Huns, of course, are uh, like the shiny example of this is actually what a lean tech tree means. Like, this Civ has exactly what it needs and nothing more. Um, because the Civ, it plays out like it has so many options, right? That's why people like them so much. But uh, in terms of actual tech tree size, it is the smallest. And uh, this is going to be nice and easy because... Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, bonuses interfering with missing units or whatever. So don't. There's uh, nothing as far as that goes. So we're just we just get to play count the X's, and there's a lot of X's to count. Okay, Arb one, hand cannon two, supplies three, uh, camels are four and five, siege six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one of two civs to not have onagers, well, the other one being Turks. Uh, Ring Archer and Plate Mail are 10 and 11. The Dock Techs are 12, 13, 14, 15. Missing Fast Fire Ship, the Cannon Galleons both, and Shipwright. And yes, you are looking at the single worst university in the game. Oh boy. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're already at 25. And uh, the missing heated shot is what makes it worse than Goths and Cumans. Cumans and Goths both have heated shot. Huns do not. Hoardings is 26. Their monastery techs are 27, 28, 29, 30. Missing Redemption, Herbal Medicine, Theocracy, and Block Printing. And 31, 32. Stone Shaft Mining and Crop Rotation. Missing two 
uh, eco upgrades, one of which is almost useless, the other is only a little bit helpful sometimes. And yeah, that is minus 32 guys, and that is literally just minus... That, that is 32 X's in the tech tree. Uh, again, minus uh, Battle Elephant Step Lancers and Eagle Warriors. Because Ornlu has to be annoying like that. So there you have it, guys. Huns have actually the worst tech tree in the game, quote-unquote, in terms of, you know, most... Or, or, yeah, most missing Texan units. So uh, this is, you know, more of a quick little video. Uh, I thought it'd be fun, something that I feel like I would have done a long time ago. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and definitely uh, let me know what you think about tech trees and what's your, what what do you like and what do you wish um, a sieve has? Like, what what is the biggest want that you have? Like, if you if this sieve gained this one tech. It would be amazing. Some things that jump to mind are uh, Britons with thumb ring would be silly. Um, of course, Franks with uh, bloodlines. Mongols with uh, the last blacksmith text. I mean, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of silly stuff out there. But yeah, let me know what your uh, your biggest wish is in the comments. Anyway. Uh, that'll be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.